Hey there, good morning everybody. Tim from Alpha Wolf Trading coming at you with this morning's free Friday pre-market prep. We're just going to take a look at the overall health of the markets, which is not looking all that encouraging. <laughs> hey, the uh, members of Alpha Wolf Trading have been uh, had the caution flag out. We've had the caution flag out actually for the last several weeks. And... Um, if you look at all of the charts of the different sectors and indexes, uh, you're going to notice something that is a very common theme here. We have bear flags, uh, potential bear flags being formed just about everywhere you look, except for TVIX, TZA, UVXY. They actually have a little bit of a bull flag set up. Uh, there. So what is that telling us? It's telling us, at least for now, the caution flag remains out. Uh, markets indexes are guilty until proven innocent, and they have a lot of work to do in order to uh, prove their innocence. Right now, things are just not looking good technically, just about everywhere you look. I have to say that XLV healthcare and um, XLP, where is that? Somewhere, uh, consumer discretionary, hold on a second. Where is it? I thought I put it on here. I don't see it. Let me, uh, let me put that on there right now. I'll take a look at that too. Here we go. XLP. XLV Healthcare and XLP are the two uh, sectors that actually, consumer staples, uh, that actually have held up better and look better technically than a lot of the other sectors out there, right? SMH uh, is looking really poor. That was a leading, uh, leading sector. And that's looking like we're going to actually, we've got a little bit of a bear flag looking like we're, we're going to potentially take out an area of price support. We're testing the 200 day on the NASDAQ. We're testing the 200 day on the S&P. We're below the 200 day on the IBB. Uh, actually, it looks like we might have closed just above it, but uh, below the 200 day on the IWM, the small cap. So just not a very encouraging look out there for um, for a lot of the sectors retail consumer discretionary uh, transportation everything is looking really really weak now we have options expiration today and you know maybe the markets are being kept down for that options expiration I don't know we'll have to see we're going to have a bigger earnings uh, week ahead of us next week. That could be a defining moment for equities. But right now, even with companies that have had strong earnings, Netflix earnings were fantastic and the stock did not react well. So that is not painting a great picture right now. What is happening out there is we've got some of these low float garbage China names, uh, which have gone parabolic and actually are very challenging to try and trade. It gives you that fear of missing out feeling when you see these things that are going up 300%, 200%, 700% in a day. But they are extremely difficult to play. If you're going to play them, play them with some lotto money, right? I mean, just like you're going to go buy a Powerball ticket, uh, you know, you play with money that you are anticipating that you may lose completely right because one of these things could have one of these huge moves and then get a t12 halt and you could be stuck in it for a very long period of time and then wind up having uh you know when it opens up you could have a, a pretty sizable loss so keep that in your mind don't be chasing this stuff this morning it looks as though we've got ncty which i gotta tell you is kind of kind of uh <laughs> Kind of rough on me this morning because 
one of the members at Alpha Wool Trading brought it up yesterday, and I was like, yeah, I'm, I, I'm not seeing it. I'm, I don't like it, and I don't know why it's popping, but it is popping on huge volume uh, and, and up, you know, several hundred percent already this morning. So could NCTY go to $10, $11 possibly? You know, if you're looking to play in that, you want to buy 100 shares, whatever, uh, just don't go overly aggressive in these names. Just be very, very cautious. Um, you know, and, and look for opportunities. I, I, you know, I, I, I look at times like these as great opportunities to buy good companies. And, and you know, I pointed out to the pro members, and this has been on my radar for uh, a while, ATVI, I want to own this in my long-term hold portfolio. Had tremendous news about their Call of Duty franchise. Uh, I guess the um, the numbers that they threw out yesterday were a little bit disappointing uh, for you know taking in a half a billion dollars or over a half a billion dollars in three days of their debut of Call of Duty Black Ops. And I think that that was, uh, I think the, the reaction of the stock is ridiculous, but you know, the market doesn't care what I think. Uh, it's, we've broken below the 200 day moving average. And, and is there a possibility that we could come down here and test the $69 area or, or maybe we get real crazy and come down and test 6150 somewhere in that area where there's potential price support. I like Activision. Uh, if it breaks below $70, I would be looking to start a position. I'm not going to go full in because if the markets continue to struggle, uh, things can go lower, right? I mean, st even though there's a great story here and tremendous earnings and, you know, I think that this is uh, just, uh, this is a sector that isn't going away and has some really uh, big catalysts uh, on the horizon. Uh, can it go down to 60 bucks? Absolutely. Uh, can it go down to $53, $55? Sure. I mean, anything is possible. If it, uh, hopefully it goes down to 30 bucks, then I can really load it up. But anyway, uh, Activision is one that I am watching really closely and looking for those opportunities to start building my position. So there's a, going to be a lot of stocks out there uh, like Activision. If the markets continue to pull back, um, there's going to be great opportunities made for those that are patient and um, you know want to be able to wait for the turnaround. If, you know, is this the beginning of a multi-year bear market? I highly doubt that. Anything is possible. Uh, there are a lot of concerning warning signs out there. I just don't think the economy right now is indicating that we're heading into a, a multi-year bear market. So is this a correction? Yes. How deep will it go? I don't know. 15, 20%. Who knows? We'll have to see how it plays out. But look at this time as an opportunity to uh, start putting together your wish list, right? That is, this is the time when you start putting together your wish list. You don't have to trade every single day if you can't find the kind of setup that you're looking for. Uh, TVIX, UVXY, TZA, SPXS, those, uh, you know, short bias, uh, those should be on your radar for potential short-term trading opportunities. Uh, the, the cannabis space seems to be taking a bit of a pause. It seems to be a uh, sell the news event. But, uh, and right now, apparently, low float China garbage names are the, the happening spot. So if you're not comfortable playing with those, then, you know, take the day off. Go enjoy, start your weekend early. There's no reason to have to force trades uh, if you're not comfortable trading those types of plays. So I really don't have a whole lot out there in, in terms of stocks to watch. Let's just take a real quick look at, uh, let's see what's, if there's anything else that's moving in pre-market here. 
do do Titan Titan. Oh. You know, it's funny. Uh, that same same individual was the one that brought up Titan Pharmaceutical uh, yesterday. That's also getting a little pop today. Maybe he's moving both of those. Uh, China, China Pharma, and China Commerce. I don't know what these things are, but let's take a look. China Commerce. Oh, no. Oh, this is China Commercial. Yep, GLG. China Commercial Credit. Uh, not a very good looking chart. That is gapping up this morning on no news. And let's see what else we've got going on here this morning. Planet Green and China Pharma. Okay. Oof, this thing had a big pop yesterday and having another pop again this morning. Has a tendency to pop and flop. Could there be an intraday setup there? Sure, absolutely. There could be an intraday setup and maybe it creates an opportunity for a day trading opportunity. Just play it size appropriate, right? Maybe you get a, uh, a red to green move or you get some kind of an intraday flag, but just understand that these things are very, very speculative. And let's see what else we've got going on here. AMD. Uh, oh, you know what? There are a couple that I, that I like. Um, you know, Baba is one that I've been keeping an eye on. Uh, I've mentioned it several times. I mean, it actually looks like maybe we might come down and test this this bottom here around 135, 136. Maybe we get a double bottom test and a bounce. It actually is gapping up a little bit in pre-market. IQ also had a little bit of an event yesterday. Now, that one was looking like it was going to break down yesterday, and it is getting a little bit of a bounce in pre-market. Uh, let's see, it's up to about $25 in pre-market. Now it keeps coming up into this trend line and finding some resistance here. It's below the 50 day, but I like IQ as a swing potentially, and it could look to take a little starter there. Uh, other than that, you know what? There's just not a whole lot on my radar. I am going to watch the markets today, see what happens with the OPEX, see what happens with this NCTY. But, uh, you know, for the most part, if I can't find my setup, I'll be perfectly content just sitting on my hands. All right. And I recommend that you do the same if you can't find your ideal setup that you're comfortable with. All right. Good luck trading today. Uh, I will have a list of stocks to watch for uh, potential trading and investing this weekend, probably Sunday. I'll put it out. Have a fantastic Friday, a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you all next week.